Jess, the state chamber says their focus this year is about keeping Oklahoma competitive when it comes to attracting business to the state of Oklahoma. And the focus this year will be tax reform as well as workforce development. So it's really data driven on the things that are really impactful to businesses. We want to make sure we're working on things that matter. Chad Warmington, CEO of Oklahoma State Chamber, explaining how they put together their priorities for the legislative sessions. This year, simplifying the tax code is at the top of the list for their membership, especially personal income tax. For us, what we'd like to see is maybe a condensing of, of, of a flat tax into one tax bracket. We'd like to see the standard deduction raise so people are at the lower end of the pay scale you know, have a have a higher standard deduction for their tax burden. Uh, and then, you know, we like to see uh, some elimination of the franchise tax. So what would you say to someone who who likes to see lower taxes, but also fears that Oklahoma would lose a good position in terms of finances? We're with the folks that, you know, are, are, are preaching caution, but we think you can begin to lower the lower the tax burden on businesses and individuals. At the same time, maintain your savings account and be ready for that, you know, inevitable dip and flow in the economy when we may need that money. Another issue the chamber wants lawmakers to focus on workforce development, arguing for more centralization. What we want to do, and the governor is working with us on this and just issued an executive order, is we want to create an entity that really owns workforce coordination at the top. Session starts here at the Capitol on Monday. A lot of bills will focus on education this session as well as tax reform.